What's up? Okay, I get this question all the time. Aaron, do you offer dip? Why don't you offer dip? What's wrong with dip? Okay, so let's talk first about what dip nails are, okay? Dip nails are acrylic that is applied by utilizing a resin, a brush on resin, and then dipping the finger into a very fine acrylic powder, okay? Here are the five reasons why I don't do dip. I tried to do dip. I've done it before. I have tried three different brands of dip and I can't stand it. I don't like it. I don't offer traditional acrylic anymore and I don't offer dip. And this is why. Five reasons. Number one, and the most important reason, it is not sanitary. I don't care how well you wash your hands before your appointment. I don't care how well I sanitize and uh, disinfect your nails before applying the product. It doesn't matter. If you have any nick or cut or anything on your cuticle because you bite or an open sore because you cut yourself with a knife or a paper cut that I can't see because it's on the bottom of your finger and you dip that finger into that community powder that goes around to any other other person in the salon, you're contaminating that powder. Now, I do understand that you can apply it differently. You can shake the powder on the nail. You can, you know, try other methods. You can, no, it's a waste. It's a huge waste of product, okay? And it's not sanitary. So number one reason and the most important reason, dip, no matter which way you spread it, is not sanitary, okay? Reason number two, it is so expensive to buy, okay? You have to buy a prep. You have to buy a base. You have to buy um, a cleanser. So now they all come. It's like a five-part kit, okay? You have to invest in all of that stuff. That's an initial investment of just $100 just to be able to apply it to the nail. Then you have to start investing in nail pro in nail dip powders. You have to get a clear so that you can cap encapsulate the colors. Then you have to get any kind of color that anybody you think would want, okay? Those powders are less than an ounce and they run anywhere from $16 to $24 per jar. Per jar. So to get four colors, you're looking at $100. And you can always find and buy all the different colors that you want. And the reason why so many of the Vietnamese salons have them is because that's what they invest in. It's a quick turnaround service for them and they think it's great. But again, going back, it's not sanitary. When Sally Smith is down at table number four, okay, and let's say she's got open cuts and she's dipping into dip powder number three, and then you want that same dip color powder and then you dip into number three, okay? Are you understanding like how this is working? So one, it's not sanitary. Two, it's extremely expensive to get started. Three, I like my nails to be natural and to be elegant and beautiful. My clients really enjoy having that natural look and you can't get that with the dip. I have tried. I have tried and tried over and over again. It doesn't matter if it's a light color, a dark color, a glitter color. It doesn't matter. I can never get a consistency that is thin enough to be natural, okay? In addition to that, not every dip powder color is created equal. So it may look like one color in the jar, but it looks like a totally different color on the nail, okay? So the third, uh, fourth reason why I don't like it is because once that stuff grows out, all right, oh, let's go back to number three. The inconsistency of the powder is not that the, the ink powder is inconsistent. See, I'm so fired up about it. I'm like, ah, this is why I hate it. The powder is so inconsistent with application. Then when it grows out, you look like you have chiclets on your fingers. Who wants that? Who wants to look like they have these big, bulky, you know, grown out nails and it's just like somebody put an artificial, you know, press on nail on you. That looks awful. I'm sorry, my uh, um, enhancement clients who come in and get UV gel or get poly gel, they come every three and a half to four weeks. 
okay? They come back, their nails are tapered back, they look natural, their color hasn't chipped, it's not broken, nothing, okay? That's a kind of consistency that I like because if I'm charging you $40 to come in and get a rebalance or I'm charging you $65 for a full set, you bet your ass it better last, okay? I have done dip and so many people have come to me three, four, five days later and say it's chipping, it's cracking, it's this, it's that. You know, if you're spending money, you want a good option that's going to last and you want a clean option. You're not going to have to worry about a fungal infection. You're not going to have to worry about chipping or breaking. You can't get that with dip, friend. You can't do it. Okay. And I understand that the Vietnamese salons offer that good for them. Kudos to them. But you know what? The reason why companies like wish exist is because they get the fall off of the fall off of the fall off. Okay. And that's usually what salons that charge a cheaper price for a service buy their stuff. So you're not getting the quality grade stuff that I pick up. Okay, at the distributor, at the salon centric or the Cosmoprof or buying straight from Young Nails or anything like that. You're not getting that when you go to a substandard salon. You're getting whatever fell off the back of the truck that day and they could get a good discounted price on it. Now, I know a lot of professional nail technicians who utilize dip powders and they have great success with them. I've never had it. I've tried three different brands. I don't like it. I'm not going to use it and I'm not going to spend my money buying it for two or three people who might want it. I don't think that it's, it's a great investment. And the fifth reason why I don't like it is because when you go and get an enhancement, which is what dip acrylic is supposed to be, it's an enhancement. It is a acrylic powder that is an enhancement. It is not a high-tech polish. It's not a high-tech color or anything like that. It is an acrylic enhancement. When you get an enhancement, your concept should always be when you go in for a rebalance and a fill, you take the product down, you refill from the back, make any adjustments or widening or any kind of buildup you need to get the apex of the nail back where it should be, and then you're done. With dip, you go in, if you've had tips, you got to take it all off, you got to soak off all the color, and what do you think that acetone does for your skin? Dries it out, makes your cuticles brittle, and then you're taking down all of that dip with the e-file or whatever, and what does that do? It damages the natural nail, because the natural nail is not meant to have the e-file applied to it. That's why you get the burn rings. That's why it hurts so bad, okay? So these are the five reasons why I don't offer dip service at my nail salon. Let's review them again. Number one, most important, it's not sanitary. Number two, you can't get any kind of consistency. Number three, the cost for investment is way too high. Number four, anytime you go, oh, I've already forgotten. See, I'm so fired up about it. I don't do it. You don't see it on my menu. You want a good enhancement service? Come and see me, get a UV gel service, get a poly gel acrylic service, and let me take care of your nails. Because remember, it's not the product that's damaging your nails, it's the person applying the product that damages. Okay? I don't do dip. And when we get done with this COVID bullshit, neither should you. Because if you want to stay clean and sanitary, I don't care again how much hand sanitizer or anything you use, there is not enough chemical in that dip powder or on that resin that is going to prevent you from getting any kind of infection that the person that just used that powder at the last table did. Boom! Shaka laka laka. Share this video with your friends. Stop getting dip powder. Get a real enhancement and see a real good nail tech. Pure10nailspot.com, baby. Deuces!